Good morning, friends. It is Thursday, April 2nd, and I'm actually in our office here. And I'm gonna paint my nails today. Why not? I actually have a bunch of nail polish and stuff that still is really good. So I'm gonna put like a nail strengthener on here. Just put a color on. It'll probably only last a day or so because nail polish only never lasts on me anyway. That's why I ended up getting nails on a long time ago in gel polish. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna paint them, why not? And uh, enjoy my coffee. And don't forget you guys, today at Ulta, the Buxom glosses, um, you have to check and see, but are 50% off. Um, you know how much I love my box, some certain ones. So check that out because I'm gonna go on right now and order my favorites because you can never have enough box and glosses. <laughs> it's gonna be a beautiful day today. So when I'm done painting my nails and they're all dry, I'm probably gonna shower and then I'm gonna just try to pull out some stuff from the basement and we're gonna decorate the front porch, at least make it look cheerful and happy. I'm glad to say last night, it was so nice. Our neighbors lit their candles. I posted some of those photos at the end of uh, yesterday's Vlog of Hope. It was just so nice to see all the people that jumped in and did it. And uh, if you did, be sure to send me a photo because I want to see. And um, I just love it. I love sharing um, what people are doing around the world, the you know communities, just to um, help shed a little more light on not light, I should say, but well, light candle. What they did last night um, to support our health care workers. So I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for that too. I'm gonna go probably make make another cup of coffee and then start prepping these nails. my granddaughter it's 10 months old um it's been a while since i've painted my own nails um just because i've never been good at painting my own nails ever but here they are and uh the color i use this is stuff honestly guys that i just dug out of my little nail polish bin and it's still perfect which is great and the color i don't even know if it's still around anymore but it's by orly and called flawless Flush. I put on first the Maintenance Nail Envy Nail Strengthener by OPI. And I didn't think I had a top coat anywhere, but I'm thinking this is by Zoya and it says adheres nail color. Oh, was that supposed to be a base? Who in the heck knows? I don't know. I use this as a top coat because I don't have a top coat. So there you have it. Nails are all done. Probably be chipped by the end of the day, but it is what it is, right? Um, what else? Okay, so I wanna go shower in a bit. It's such a beautiful blue sky, sunny day right now, and I'm so excited. I think it's gonna be maybe in the, maybe 60 today. Um, and then I'm gonna go shop my stash in the basement and figure out how I'm gonna decorate the um, front porch just to give it some color. I just feel like it just, like I said yesterday, or maybe earlier this morning, I can't remember. Um, I normally wait a little bit before I do all that, but I'm not gonna fully decorate it, but I think I'm gonna put my pillows out there and um, just some pops, a little bit of pops of color. It just is much need. I just feel like we need to brighten things up a little bit. And it looks like the weather this, this week coming up is supposed to be pretty decent, so I'm happy about that. You know, even if it's in the mid 60s and the sun's beaming on my back patio, I'm gonna be sitting out there just taking in the fresh air as much as possible. Um, so that's it, guys. Oh, 
yeah i went while i was i'm doing my nails and put it all to order in for my box of glosses and a few other little things i just threw in there so i'll share that with you whenever they whenever they come in and uh yeah so mark ran to the office to um get some more files and he's pulling in right now so we're gonna chit chat for a bit and uh when i'm all ready to go to decorate the, the front porch pull the camera out and uh, we'll see what we can come up with you know i did share with you guys i just remembered all these things coming to my mind when i put the camera down that i um, mean gosh back oh my gosh probably like 20 years ago I used to do pink and white acrylic on my own nails. I mean, I had all the stuff for it. I knew someone that was a uh, nail tech and she just would get the stuff and give it to me. It's probably what wasn't, you know, wasn't allowed, but I mean, that was 20 some years ago I did it. And then um, a while, probably about five years ago, I took all my nails off and I bought everything to do gel nails. And I would do all everyone's nails. All my friends would come over and I'd do their nails for them. And, um, and I had like the lights and everything and I still have them. But then again, everyone else's nails looked great and mine looked like crap because I was so just not good at doing my own. Um, you know, so that's why I went back to getting the nails on. I've always had bad nails, always, always, always. And I love it. It's like my, my little vice, you know, um, it's what I do. I love it. But, and to be honest with you, when this is all done, I will definitely be getting my nails. I just will be I feel better these hurt I don't like short nails they just don't feel right but anyway just wanted to, just wanted to mention that Mark he's always on phone calls and he doesn't know that I'll be filming and he's running in it back he's trying to go like in different rooms of the house where it's quiet Archie won't bark because you know Archie sees a leaf blow outside and he's barking so Mark is trying to like avoid all that and I feel so bad um, all I can tell you is he, my husband represents a ton of doctors. I think I mentioned this. Did I mention that? I can't remember if I did anyway. And they've been calling him just, it's been sad guys. These guys are just, you know, this is ever changing rules and things are changing and it's tough. It's so tough on them. Mark spent all day yesterday. The phone rang off the hook with doctors calling him and it's not good. It's just not good. All I'm telling you guys is please, and I can't stress this enough. This is coming from doctors and ENTs. Wash your hands. And be aware of your mouth and nose because that is how this virus is go is coming in. Like, you got to wash your hands and really try, and I know I'm so bad at that, not to touch your nose in your mouth. I'm so bad at that. I don't know what we can do to not do it, but just to try to be more aware of it because that is how it's happening. And it's that simple. And if you are a nail biter, wear gloves because that is the world's worst. So this is my public service announcement this morning. All right, I'm gonna watch Michael Buble um, because I just love him. He's on Kelly and Ryan and I love Michael Buble. So, okay guys, I'll be back with you guys real quick this morning before I shower up. Natalie Morales did an IGTV on her homemade granola, and I happen to have just about every ingredient here in the house. So, lucky me, yay. So, what I'm gonna do is, um, what I did, call from like some sliced almonds, I just, all I have were whole. So, I just sort of used my little meat tenderizer thing and just chopped them up a little bit, or pounded them. Actually, here's a whole piece, but oh well. Um, okay, so I'm gonna adding that to the bowl. And then she had some pepitas, which I happen to have. And I'm gonna throw those in here. Hard to do all this with one hand, so hold on. I just added, um, to make it easier, some hemp seeds that I had and two cups of Quaker oats. Whoopsie. And the pepitas and the almonds. Now I'm just gonna add some uh, warmed up coconut oil and some pure, 100% pure maple syrup. I'm gonna add these two, stir this around, and put it in the oven at 425 for four minutes, and then toss it around maybe another four more minutes. So I've got it on the cookie sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven for four minutes, toss it around, and another four. While my granola is done, I can't say it's real crunchy crunchy, um, I probably put a little bit too much oatmeal in it, but I'd be honest with you, it tastes really good, you guys. 
Um, again, according to how you like it, sweeter or not sweeter, you might want to add a little bit more of the pure maple syrup. And then I just have them um, in these two um, mason jars. And I think they stay up for maybe a week. Mark and I will nibble on this. and uh, But it's really delicious. I really like it. And I actually, you can see, I already added it to my yogurt this morning. So, so hopefully this recipe will help you if you guys have whatever you got basically in your pantry. And then just do a little bit of, um, what did I say? What was it? Coconut oil and uh, maple syrup if you like it sweet or, you know, I think you need definitely need some. But depending on how sweet you like it, you can add more. I'm going to go jump in the shower. Then I'm going to go decorate, you know, just put some stuff out on the front porch. And I'm going to go for a walk today enjoyed my shower <laughs> you know that little radio thingy i hooked it up to my bluetooth too i guess mark and i can just keep doing that um when we go to take our showers and i put mine on uh, pandora on the michael buble station you guys i think my neighbors heard me singing i was singing so loud in the shower just you know just trying to <laughs> trying to just keep positive it was nice to just get a good singing session in the shower I know Mark had to be dying laughing out here. And I was trying to, then I realized, oh my gosh, what if he's on a conference call and I'm singing my brains out in the shower? But it was fun. <laughs> okay, so I'm all ready to go. I'm gonna go shut my stash downstairs and start pulling out some stuff to, to decorate the, um, the front porch. Today's fragrance, while I go from room to room, indoors to outdoors, is this one by Luxaton, which I love smells really good to me it's just to me it reminds me of spring and summer and well i need it today need to remember those lovely days of just when life was normal had a great facetime call today with uh, morgan and tony and giada it was so fun it was really really fun all right i'm gonna go and uh, i know lighting is horrible this way here we go okay sorry if i made you dizzy so i'm gonna go out go down the basement and dig out some things and um let's see what we can come up with to brighten up the front porch today and make it a little bit springy bring some color to the world because we're starting to get buds on the trees but we've got a ways to go yet and uh, i just feel like i want to be able to sit outside today enjoy the day take a walk and then look at my pops of color springy front porch all right guys so i'm out here on my patio i just brought a few things out um I like fresh flowers obviously but it's too way too early in the season for that so and i'm not a fan of putting faux flowers outside but i think on a porch we're good with that um so i've got some pillows i brought another table out and some faux flowers and then i'm gonna uh, put some candles in some of my lanterns it's not gonna be overly uh, decorative right now <laughs> only because you know it just looks prettier when you've got flowers out here you know um real flowers but um, I'm going to try to come up with something. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. But I'm going to just play around with some of the things that I've got here. And I'll show you what I've got. So I've got this table. My water on my phone. I've got this table. Brought some uh, faux flowers. Like some hydrangeas. Little pops of yellow. And some pillows here. Of course I've got my chairs. Some lanterns. Some little tables. So I'm not sure how I'm going to move this around. I'm going to play with it. And then I'll show you what I come up with. Alright friends. This is what I came up with. So these were pillows that I had downstairs, and I just love the colors because I think they're just bright and cherry. They all they are are a little bit older, like two years old, but you know I may change them out in the spring while well, it is spring. But once life gets back to a little bit of normalcy here, um, I brought this table that I used to have downstairs. Actually, we had one upstairs at one point in time, um, but I brought this out here because Mark and I like to sit out on our front porch and enjoy coffee. If you guys watch my vlogs you know in the summertime much i love to sit out here and have my coffee so i just got these faux hydrangeas and some other um faux stems and put them into this really pretty vase and another one of my candle holders and a smaller candle again just trying to bring out all those little pops of color that i put here um in the vase like down the yellow a little bit of the pink and uh and then over here same thing just put the pillow uh, with my one lantern and uh, a candle in it okay I'm gonna try look you can see Archie oh, I'm sorry about the lighting so I'm gonna try to get in closer I don't want to be you guys see my reflection so again it's nothing fancy got that um, little yellow wreath with little buds on it 
and I know it just looks good enough for now I think it looks pretty it looks like it's just has a little pop of spring something we all need especially here in Ohio when the weather's a little bit still chilly though it's a pretty day today actually I'm going to go walking with Archie here in a few minutes so I'm going to try to move over here without being in the way I'm not sure again I'm going to wait to maybe you know the sun goes down um not quite on the porch but nothing again like I said too fancy just something I wanted to change up a little bit and again there you have it I love the flowers it's just like a pretty little seating area we don't have a huge front porch Oops, sorry about the lighting um but I think it looks pretty much better than it did for sure making myself a glass of iced peach tea I'm gonna sit outside and enjoy our front porch for a few minutes and then I promise Archie we're gonna take a little walk today so I'm gonna put on tennis shoes and we're gonna go for a walk all right so here I am enjoying my patio my porch <laughs> with my melted peach iced tea and my faux flowers <laughs> and just this beautiful day today I love the buds are on the trees. We've got a blue sky. It's perfect. Ignore the sound in the background. I've got my dryer on. But when you are in the house and you look out on the front porch, it does look really pretty. Looks nice, guys. I'm happy with it. You know what? Because it just has some pops of color. And I think that's much needed right now for all of us that are still living here. Like I said a little bit ago, in the northeast when everything's still not quite you know bloomed yet and uh you know just a, a pick me up and look what i found too i did find a bag with my little bunnies so i put the bunny right next to my little easter egg tree that looks cute and springy here's her little buddy i have him here on this little table look how cute so i'm so glad i found these i am going to cut up a bunch of little vegetables got these like little peppers get my glasses out of the way I've got some cabbage even use that up and got some carrots some baby carrots and a little cucumber I'm just gonna cut all these up into like little teeny kind of a salad of crunchy goodness um, I got all these vegetables so I would definitely want to use them all up and whip up a little healthy salad oh we're making pork chops on the grill and these are more or less, I use these like when we have the family in town. Sometimes these potatoes are gratin. But Mark's like, let's just use these up. We had a half a bag. So I'm just going to whip those up here. And what you, it's so cute. He put the wrong lid on, but that's okay. He's he's so helpful with dinner. He's out there grilling. So, um, <laughs> he's, so funny. he's so cute. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get all these cut up and make a little salad. All right, here's dinner, just grilled pork chops, those potatoes, and a salad full of yummy, healthy veggies. All right, you guys, so I am actually filming. You guys are watching me through my Alexa show here. Beverly and Julie are here. Hi. 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 From Clearwater, Florida. Uh, they're so lucky, it's so yucky here. Well, it's sunny here today, but not as warm as you guys are, I'm sure, having it there. What is the temperature? We had a cold front come through, so it's only been in the mid 70s. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. But we're going to be back up to 80 tomorrow. Oh, you're so. so lucky. Well, hey, listen, I thank you guys for being on here. But what we're going to do, you guys, is uh, <laughs> Beverly and Julie have been watching the Vlog of Hope videos, and Beverly came up with a few tea time topics. And so I thought this is perfect. Have them call in on the Alexa show. The three of us can be on the screen. And so Beverly's going to share today's tea time topic. And then you guys are going to do another one for, with me, like maybe in a few days or a couple days. And you can tell them you read the, the, the comments, right? And then you got the idea to do this. So this will be fun. So why don't you start off with, first of all, today's tea time topic. Okay, well, anyway, I think as we're going through all this all together, um, something that I've been thinking about is I'm so grateful. And grateful is something that, you know, I'm already thankful for the things I already have. But the word that I would like to ask all of you is um, to use uh, the word gratitude. And what that is, is thinking in advance of what and being thankful for what you're going to be getting in advance and having that faith and 
whoever you believe in, but just have that faith that you and start thinking that you already, as though you already have that. Oh, I love that. So then everyone just basically is going to put in the comment section, then what do you, what do you want them to write then? So basically it's again, gratitude. What do you, what, what are you looking forward to? And you're thanking in advance that, okay. that, that you Got already it. have. Got it. All right. I like that. I like thanking that in advance. Um, I know that's just like, I think a frame of mind to already put yourself there in a way, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Right. It's a new, it's a new mindset. Yeah, yeah. A new mindset again, because we're already grateful obviously for our family and our friends and whatever it is that you're also feel grateful for. But thinking of, especially in these times of there's that your people is worry, but if we have this attitude and mindset of gratitude that we already have it. Those that vibrational waves throughout the universe that you're going to be putting out are just going to be full. It, it'll come to you. Yeah, so I just have to have gratitude. That it's all we already have it. Oh my goodness! All right, well then that means I have to share something that I'm already being grateful for, showing gratitude. And I know this may seem cliche, but basically that all my friends and family come out of all this healthy and safe, and I'm already grateful for that. Yeah, that's that good? good. Okay. That's good. What about you guys? Uh, my gratitude is that again, that everybody is in better off. They're going to be in a better position when we get through this because we have so many lessons learned mm. and we're just going to be better people because oh. of it. And I already see people that maybe have lost some of their jobs or been cut down in hours that when they go out there um, again, it's going to be, it's, again, things do happen for a reason. Sometimes I hate that phrase, but I really do believe it. And I think you're going to be better off. Oh, I love that. I think that is awesome. That is All right. Well, I can't wait to see everyone's comments. Now I want you, if you do not mind sharing what you, um, you two are going to do coming up here for another tea topic. Okay. First of all, I just want to thank uh, people for uh, making the comments when you uh, make comments for Karen and Lauren on her vlog. They're very interesting, and anyone, one cut, uh, caught my attention when Karen was asking what kind of topics that she can do for some of her vlogs. One, and was uh, her name is uh, Cherie Peterson. Yes, she Cherie. said, uh, Karen, that she would love to be doing a, a Q&A, and that some people would ask you and Lauren different questions. So we thought, Julie and I would, in the next couple days, we will start looking at questions that any of you would like to ask Karen or Lauren, and we'll select the ones that we think that you know, resonate with us. Um, and then we'll pick a day, Karen, if you don't mind that we yeah. can ask you your, um, subscribers questions to you. Yeah. And you know what? That sounds that awesome. Really insightful. I think that will be awesome. Yeah. I really love that idea. So, um, yeah, I can, you guys have your homework cut out for you. <laughs> we do. Well, that's why we're excited for the, um, the, the Q and a type questions that you all uh, want to submit. And we'll pick, you know, several and have fun with that. Be, right. I think it'll be a fun uh, session. Make sure they're clean. <laughs> oh, they, <laughs> they will be. Yes, I know. Um, well, I'm excited, you guys. Thank you so much for jumping on this Alexa show call. This is super cool. I love this. Oh, she heard me. Yeah, say absolutely. Name. All right, so I'm gonna have you guys say. I'll have you guys say. This is little Livy, by the way, you guys. That's Livy. This is Olivia. This is Olivia. We named her after Olivia Pope from uh, Scandal. 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 We thought she would be smart, sophisticated, and beautiful. And she is. If she was named after Olivia. She looks like a. Let me just tell you, she's real cute. She looks like a, a female Archie. One out of three isn't bad. She's Aww, real cute. She's so cute. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut off. You guys stay. Cut off this video to okay. our subbies real quick. Hold on. Okay. All right, okay. guys, real quick. I hope you enjoyed that with Beverly and Julie. That was so much fun. I cannot wait to read your comments. And uh, this is really going to be a, a fun tea time topics uh, to keep this going. So you guys have a great night, and we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Underneath the lights. Look into each other's eyes.